All right, this is Coffee Chug, and I'm showing you here uh, a project that I had helped fund. I believe it was on Kickstarter by Bear Conductive. Um, this is the cardboard speaker box, um, which you can see here, or the boom box, kid, excuse me. And so this is what came in the kit. You can see that we have here uh, one of their touch boards, which is going to allow us to uh, play music when things are, or buttons are pressed. We've got some of the cardboard cutouts on the main cardboard um, boombox here, and then all the various components that came in the kit. Obviously, batteries, breadboard, the paint, speaker, some alligator clips, um, but most importantly, this. And so I'm going to be showing you how to put this together with the idea that once I see how it works, I'm going to be then trying to create my very own boombox kit, and I would love to have other people get out and try some other things as well but if you're like me sometimes i just need a, a starting point which is why i went with this kit i think it's awesome it could be an amazing project for students i think either at the summer camp or in an engineering class so um let's go ahead and get into this right away the first thing that we're going to do um, is we need to take see if i can find them all oh, they're right here these two little tiny pieces, these little clips. I know it might be a little hard to see with the Google Glass. Um, and we're gonna insert them right to these pins right here to hold and support this board. So it'll actually sit just like that, which then you can see that all the holes here on this board line up with the pattern already printed. And so this is something that's nice, um, but can be very easily done um, creating something on your own. So let me go ahead and do that uh, now here. So these just kind of poke through like that. Make sure I don't lose this little piece here. Unscrew this one real fast. And there. Pretty straightforward. That lines up. You can see everything lines up perfectly. So we'll go ahead and secure that in. And then one thing Bear Conductive suggests as a first step, which I'm actually going to do it as a last step, but it's not that big a deal. But this board comes with a little micro SD, which I've taken out to load up your music. And so, geez, get that in there. And so, right here is where the little micro SD would launch. I actually have it right here. So I'm gonna connect that to my computer. I'm gonna load up songs. So when we touch these different buttons, it'll play songs. So kind of like an old uh, cassette tape, really. It kind of reminds me of um, maybe putting together a little Pearl Jam mixtape or something, I don't know yet. Halloween sounds, because it's almost Halloween. That's probably what I'll most likely do. Um, but you can always just pull this right out, which is nice having this on the front, slide it out, switch to songs, and you're good to go. So let's go on, on to the next step here and see what we've got. Okay. So the next step that we have here is to get our speaker and our PCB board um, connected to the boombox. So we're on the inside of it right now. Um, so they've already got these things pre-cut, which the more I think about it, look at it, it wouldn't be very difficult to do and create on your own. And so we're gonna push this battery through the circle here as well as this cable right here through and this knob here is for the volume which you can see is going to poke through on here on this side so we'll go ahead and do that and then when we fold this get this cable out of the way where the board will actually then fit in the slot like so 
So once you've got that, you kind of punch out some of the holes. All right, so next we take the, uh, these two pieces here of cardboard. Um, you, know, you gotta be careful that we fold just on kind of the, the pre-folds here. We don't bend the other pieces. And so I'm gonna do that. Right now, basically we're gonna be making the case. That might be easier. I'm gonna get in. A book might actually help here on this part. So this piece is going to feed through. And up. Into this box to kind of protect the main operating system here. Kind of makes it look like a cassette. Pretty cool. And then this here, we'll go on the back like so. And that's going to be where we're going to add uh, the battery pack. And so I will go ahead and um, show you how to do that here next. All right, so what we gotta do is secure this down. Um, I'm just gonna use a piece of painter's tape just so you can see. They said it came with stickers, um, which I did not find any of my contents, but it's not a big deal. Um, but that way it's a little bit more visual for you to see. And then we're gonna slide this battery pack in and that goes straight here to that bottom hole, which will take it to the front. Um, so we'll get that going in here. And then we want to also work this angle and so I'm going to get this housing in here by just folding this all the way making this complete so we get this realigned here So now we've got that and uh, we're getting close here. All right, so we're gonna roll this side here. And it fits in a nice little notch right there. And then, Going to do the same over here. But before I do that, I want to shimmy this speaker in. And that just kind of slides in. Double track the front here, make sure that looks good. I think it does. I got that, and we'll slide this right in here, and then I also are gonna roll. Fold these and these full, they kind of got some things already. Put that wire in. And you can see that that just kind of connects. And there we go. So 
so far, so good. All right, real quick, one thing that I wanted to clarify is once we get to this hole, we need this wire to get out to the front. So there's the other hole that this is going to pop out to right here. So right there and right there. I did not show that in the previous step. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock that in. Lock that in. We'll get a power supply here. So we'll go ahead and uh, get our batteries in here. says right there in that slot. Nice and snug there. So far so good. Now this box up So far, looking good, my friend. All right, the next step, got to put our volume button on. Go ahead and slide that bad boy on right now. That's the adjustable thing. Got our on off switch. Sitting right in there. Now it's just time to get the, the conductive pieces rolling here. All right, so I got my memory card in there. We'll go ahead and lock this up. And I don't know if my last video recorded or not. Once you get this going, you take this conductive ink, the electric paint, and you put a smidge in every little hole to create the conductive current. And that takes about 15 minutes to dry it. So I had already done that. Um, we're going to lock this up here. The last step is to get our handles. I've given us four here. Turn this on. And if I did everything correctly, so you want to make a dog bark piano or a cookie jar siren? No problem. You can easily change the sounds on the touchboard. Audio files are stored on the micro SD card. And there you Always have it. Disconnect the all right, so when you first get it going, it's just be simply touch the buttons, just basic tutorial stuff. So you want to make a dog bark piano or a cookie jar So you need to go ahead and listen no to problem. those, which goes to the tutorial. And then you can go ahead and uh, program your music files to the buttons, which I'll go ahead and show you how to do that here um, in just a second. But first, let's do the tutorials. All right, so I want to go ahead and show you now how to go ahead and get your audio loaded. Uh, program ready to go. So there is when you take the micro SD card out of your bare conductive board and you hook it up to your computer 
you can see I've already inserted my songs that I want to have in here. So I've already converted over my, my MP3s from my iTunes account. But you go in here to this README file, and it will tell you everything that you need to do. All right. And so now you can see how to go through everything. Um, it gives you a little bit of sense of what to do, other ideas, get other sensors up and running, uh, which is great. And so once you have that, um, you can see here, move the original audio guide tracks off of the micro SD card to a safe place into a folder. And then you move them and then you have to rename them track 000, track 001, track 002, etc. So if we go back, no, oh, that's not it. To that, okay, what I'm going to do first is make a new folder here. I'm just going to call those tutorials. I want to save these files. So I'm just going to drag those in there so they're out of the way. And then I'm just going to rename these. Okay, so if we go back to that README, just like this. Track 000. Track 001. I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this now for the rest of these files, and then I'll show you how to add them and get them played on your boombox. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that up. You go ahead and do that. All right, so I went through and renamed all my files, my micro SD. I'm going to go ahead and slide that back in. I'm going to turn my board on. Turn my speaker on, and we should have music. Mix name. Look my world. DJ's name. DJ's and name. And there you have it. Genres in this mix. Okay, yes. now I got a boombox. R&B, hip hop and house. Time to make it happen. And there you have it. There is the boombox. Now the question is, what can we do next? And I'm excited to go and figure out what to do to make it bigger, better, and cooler. So, if you have questions, let me know. And now I'm off to make my own and uh, spice this bad boy up. Have a good day.